Fellow stuffers, we have got something very, very special today. So here it is, the Karma Drone uh, package, and we'll just uh, try to unbox it. The good bit is, uh, like it's constructed in such a way that it makes it so much more easier, uh, you know, just to store away in the backpack. Uh, you can even um, store the Karma Drone in a smaller backpack called the Seeker. All you need to do is remove the propellers. Important bit. That's it. That's ready to go. I'm going to be flying the drone for the very first time. So let's see how it goes. One. So all I need to do is uh, press the uh, main button for three seconds, and I have the choice of uh, tapping the screen here so for an auto takeoff. If not, I can use the manual control. So I think I'm going to go for manual. Ready yeah. Let's start. do that again. All right, here we go. There it is. Wow, that that is absolutely thrilling. <laughs> it's it's hugely responsive the the way the controls handle and the way the drone moves. Uh, let's try and land this thing now. Very nice. And there I've landed my first High drone. High five. <laughs> Thank you. After we had a hard swim of flying the new Karma drone, we got hold of Pascal Strubler, senior development engineer with GoPro, to tell us more about the drone. What we got here is Karma controller and what you have here is basically these two sticks. You can roll, and you can lean forward, backward, move around the horizontal plane and with the left stick you can turn right and turn left, go up and down. So really easy, you know it maybe from other drones. And what we else have is like start stop button and the return to home button function. All right, Pascal, over to you. Let's give it a spin. We have four flying modes. Uh, let's start with a droney, right? So okay. droney is basically what you know from selfies. So we can go into the shot paths menu. Okay. Choose droney. Okay. So you get like introduction video. Okay. First you start it. Right. The first time. And it's really easy. So you set a point A, you set the distance and it's all done. So there is also cable cam. Okay, so what does that do? It's basically you set two points. Okay. And Karma will fly between those points okay. continuously. Okay. So that we fly to point A. Okay. So the way we did this mm. is we don't want to use the map to set points right. because users, some of them cannot read maps, some of them are. Like it's hard to imagine right. how high the actual point is. Right. So what we did is really we set the point by flying there. Point B. All right. Let's take it over there. Okay. Let's set it. So what it does now, it really flies from point to point. Right. I really like to go on top of a mountain and take like this round shot around you. Uh, you standing there on top of the mountain have the panoramic right. view. So the way we do this, we go into the menu, we set the orbit, 
And now again, we set points by flying dead. Let's set the center here. Okay. Just above the center point, doesn't have to be at the right altitude. Okay. We'll go out here to have like the radius, set it as point B. Okay. And now you're done. If it uh, encounters an obstacle in the orbit, it auto adjusts itself? No, okay. you have to think about that. Okay. If I decide to fly up, it will actually pitch down and the result is just great. Pascal, tell me something about uh, the return to user uh, mode, you know, how, how does that work in this, how simple is it? To do that on your own, you okay. have the, the choice of having return to home, so if you press that button, you actually get the choice of returning to launch okay. or return to you. Okay, great. Let's try return to you. So what it does, it climbs to a predefined altitude, you can set that altitude. All right. Uh, and then it comes back to you and of course you're still full in control so you can nudge uh, the UAV in case of something's in the way or right, maybe right. the point where you are is actually not that good to land so you can still nudge so it's coming down all right there it is Uh, what if I run out of battery? How easy it is for me to swap swap one? Like yeah. it's yeah. very easy. So I hope you use a lot of batteries. So you just pull the battery out like that. It's okay. Really easy. Pull the new one in, and so that's you're it. ready to go again. Wow. That's that's like less than three seconds. <laughs> yes. Now, thing is, I'm a newbie. Um, what if I break a part of it, or, or you know, just crash it? What what happens then? No problem. So I always I, I push it really, and uh, I break it sometimes. But really, all you break uh, is probably the props. Right. You can easily replace them. Uh, there's it's a long, long time ago since I uh, recently broke one of the arms. So okay. they're really sturdy. Although they flap in, they're they're really good and robust. Right. Uh, but still, if you break one. It's no problem. You can just replace them yourself. So okay. these are actually spare parts, as well as with the legs. Right. You can just screw them off with like two to three screws. Okay. And replace them easily. Yeah, there's two additional uh, props. Okay. Okay. Them. And how easy is it to fit one of the propellers and remove it? It's no problem. And just give a little unscrew and then just. Wow, it's that simple. Yeah, you just have to figure out the same color. Okay. Screw them on again, and you don't even have to screw them on hard. Right. The self tightening. Right. So there it is, the new GoPro Karma drone in the flesh, and it uh, looks pretty incredible. It's light enough, and uh, the battery is easy to swap in and out. Uh, the good bit about the Karma drone is that uh, it's it's extremely agile uh, when you fly it, and uh, we love the build quality. Also, one of the best part is that it's extremely portable. So this entire drone folds up and uh, fits into a really small uh, Seeker backpack or the Karma backpack and you can just lug it around without any, any, any issues. We've flown the drone around for uh, quite a bit here and uh, all we can say is uh, GoPro has done a fantastic job of it. It really gives the power to even the novice enthusiast who wants to give drone flying a try. And of course, if you're a professional, you have all the uh, power to you know go berserk and shoot some of the most cinematic videos you could imagine. Uh, so this is a wrap from uh, Palma and the GoPro Karma Drone launch. If you are in the United States, you'll be able to get your hands on the GoPro Karma Drone for 799.99 on the 23rd of October. But Indian buyers will have to wait a little bit longer. And by that, we mean 2017.
and we expect it to be priced around the 70,000 mark for the drone alone.